All right, here we go, really, really random. I just got home from work and I'm freaking exhausted. But I gotta do this. I gotta film this, I gotta show you this. One day, it might be funny to look back at it. So, I got home from work, it's a new week, and this week, I don't know why, but I feel so motivated to start and pick up the donut business again. Pursuing my dream of opening my own donut shop. And that is because I put out a story on my Instagram where I told you guys, or asked you guys, would you be interested in buying donuts? And it was mostly for my friends and people around my neighborhood in Nijmegen where I live. And the motivation got to me because I got like 10, 20 DMs of people asking me if they could order some donuts. It is Wednesday now and I posted it on Monday and I got a lot of DMs and people really want to buy it. So this weekend, this Sunday, I'm going to make around 50 to 100 donuts. That's insane. But yeah, I do, I do just want to show you this. I'm making like a menu for donuts this coming weekend so i just started with this this was like a base started with a blue background then just make it fun menu on the top with some donuts just gotta write down the menu what i have in my hat as flavors which is a couple i think five flavors i'm gonna post it on friday maybe saturday so people can choose what they want so it's easy for me to make and i'm just so motivated i just got home from work and i want this i want this to be my work as well on the internet i'm just looking up for some boxes because that that is one thing that I really need so I got a lot of different sites where I'm looking up for some boxes I'm looking up for some boxes that I need to order and this for real is the beginning like I said if everything goes as people say I might make 100 donuts like wow and i think i will but this will be like 10 20 people it's really interesting and i'm really really motivated like I, at work i'm just thinking of donuts just thinking of the menu what flavors am i gonna have and i'm just so excited like oh my god guys you have no idea so i just wanted to share this just to film this so i'm gonna make the menu and i will see you in a second just see what i can figure and make with this here we go, still in my room, like already an hour passed and I'm so motivated, guys, you have no freaking idea. And the menu, I had it already figured out at work how I'm going to do this, already figured it out. And when I'm putting it on Photoshop and editing it a little bit, it just turns out so damn good. I'm freaking excited. So this is what I got so far. So this is the base of my menu so far and guys you will see the end result in a second and so it's in it's in dutch because i only sell to dutch people menu looks so far and this is the end result this is guys look at this it looks legit this is exactly what i had in mind in my head at work so i was thinking about it the whole day long i want the text i want the picture so people know what it is and look this, these are the three flavors that I now have. So Biscoff, Birthday Cake, and the Samoa Donut. Girl Scout Cookie Samoa. Add two more flavors and this will be the standard menu that I'm going to send to people and put on Instagram. So they can order five Biscoff or five of these. And this for real is the first try. This is not like trying different stuff. This is the first try. So hype guys. Let's go. Oh yeah, donuts. It's going through. Amazing. All right, it's later on the night. I have my glasses on. I have a tank top. So this is the finished menu I created. So all the five flavors I have for this weekend. So the first one will be Biscoff. Second one, Creme Brulee. Girl Scout Cookie Samoa one. Strawberry sprinkled and a birthday cake flavor. And underneath there I have 5 pieces for 12.50 and 10 pieces for 20 euros. There has to be a small difference. So if you buy 10 it's 2 euro per donut. If you buy 5 it's 2.50 per donut. So yeah guys the menu I must say looks amazing. Freaking happy with how it turned out. This is exactly how I had it in my mind. And it turned out perfect. Yeah, the finished menu is done. I will probably see you on Sunday where I make the amazing and a lot of donuts. So I'll see you then. Alright, here we go guys. It is the next day. I showed you also which kind of boxes I want to order for the donuts. And they came in today. So I got the boxes right here. I want to show you how these boxes look like. Oh my god. So I've got 25 of these. 40 by 40 by 8. So it's like 40 lengthwise, 40 
width wise and the height is eight centimeters so i want to unbox it see if it's any good i didn't order a lot because i don't know how these look i think it okay so here we go wow this is it <laughs> i think this is a bit too too big this yeah oh here we go this is like the bottom and this will be the top but yeah oh yeah oh damn it's pretty pretty solid like it's really solid it's not bending so this is the box that's the 40 by 40 by four, no 40 by 40 by 8 so it's 8 height which is which is enough which is enough for one donut it's not my donuts are not that big and also to show you i've got my donut cutter right here so this is the size of when how i cut my donut but when the donut rise rises it doubles almost the size so it will be like this yellow one so the yellow one is a little bit bigger so it will be like the yellow one and the intention or the idea was to fit 10 donuts in this box but as you can see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen six so in this box i can fit easily 16 donuts let's go ask for this bad boy I'm really excited for this because this is heavy yeah this is just perfect for the donut but yeah this box is just perfect this box is just perfect for 10 donuts i can put donuts on this side so yeah i'm gonna go for this i'm happy it's like 50 of these and only 25 of these but yeah now you guys look freaking difference look at the difference this is like double the size almost so yeah this will be i will yeah i have it now so might as well use it when i have big orders i know this is the perfect size 18 let's say 19 euros divided by 50 38 cents per box which is at the end when you sell like thousand boxes yeah this is pretty expensive but i think when i order thousand boxes it would be cheaper this is the beginning of my donut journey i'm filming it i'm sharing it with it with you all it's all started by youtube having passion for cheat days cooking starting donuts it really it all started by cheat days just thinking of an original idea how to be different on cheat days i made my own donuts on that I was I just fell in love so now I might even start my own business do it and it all just comes from YouTube and all you guys just loving the video so hopefully you love this hopefully you appreciate me sharing my journey guys I share my fitness life but I share my personal life here yeah. this is the beginning this is the beginning I hope this weekend will be really good I'm gonna do my best I'm gonna wake up at five o'clock make a lot of donuts fill them the best I can do on these donuts because this will make me or break me I'm gonna tell you that because if people don't like it yeah they're not gonna tell everyone else I'm gonna see you when I see you and it's gonna be probably on Sunday alrighty guys it's 6 30 in the morning it's Sunday and today is the day where I'm going to make a lot of dough. I woke up at 6 o'clock, it's now 6.30, I'm going to make my first batch of the dough and I gotta make four batches in total. So I've got the oven already prepped right here, so every tray will have nine donuts. So I gotta do this all in two, three batches. I'm just going to share with you everything. It's freaking early, so I gotta do it and I gotta do it right. All right, guys, the oven is full. Not sure if you can see it, but I've got six trays. Each tray has nine donuts. So I've got a lot of donuts already done. And I've got one more dough right here to roll out and to fill up these trays. To show you, these are the orders I've got. So this is about 70 donuts, but I'm going to make 100 just to be sure I've got the perfect donuts. Always make more than you need. Because you never know what can happen. It's going amazing. It's now almost 9. It is 9 o'clock. 9.15. I've been awake since 6 o'clock. So, whoo, it's going to be a long, long day. <laughs> All right. It's now almost 11 o'clock. And the donuts are finally done. And they are right here on the table. <laughs> Guys, I've made around 80 donuts. And I think I'm just going to leave it at this. Now I'm just going to fry them up. Let them cool off and decorate them. Oh, my God. I'm finally done. Guys, it's now 3.30. 3.30, I woke up at 6 o'clock in the morning. I'm finally done. The donuts are right here, done. I made in total like 12 of each flavor, some a little bit less, 
like the creme brulee, a little bit more of the biscoff, but they didn't turn out how I wanted to turn out. So, for example, this birthday cake one, I should have filled it with custard, but I made a raw cookie dough and I filled it with raw cookie dough because the custard was empty or ran out of custard because I filled the creme brulee and the biscoff with custard. And also, these ones, the Girl Scouts and Moa cookies, yeah, the chocolate on the bottom melted. So I had to cover it with coconut so it wouldn't ruin the whole box. I also made some boxes there and now just gotta pack it up and just send it to people. Just deliver it by myself. But yeah, here is the close of the strawberry donut. I've got a lot of these Biscoff donuts. The Girl Scout Samoa ones, a little bit different than I normally make them, but it didn't turn out, like I said, as I wanted to. And I've got these birthday cake ones and as well in the messy kitchen. I've got a, a couple apple fritters, which I'm going to give away just to let them try out. Also a marshmallow and a white Oreo one as a custom donut. My lovely mom is cleaning up the mess. Guys, I woke up at 6 o'clock. The donuts are finally done. i got to pack them up and deliver them. Here we go. Last time I changed and I'm going to bring the donuts. It's now 4.10. Pretty damn late. I told everyone at 3 o'clock, but I couldn't make it, so I told them around 4 or 5. So, guys, here we go. I've got everything packed. Every order right here. So, 2, 4, 6, 8 orders in total. Some have 10 donuts, some have 5 donuts. Now, I'm going to pack them up and just deliver them. So, just to give you a close up, these are the first ever orders from my donut business. Let's see if this will turn out good and hopefully in a future business. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, I'm in a messy, messy kitchen. It's morning to show you the time. It's now 6.38. I woke up at 5 o'clock. I already made two doughs right here. So I'm making donuts, guys, and I've got really bad news. My machine broke down. It's not working anymore. When I plug it in and I want to turn it on, it's not doing anything. <sighs> That sucks. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it now. I've got like 80 donuts to make and I gotta make two more doughs. I've got already one dough weighed out and everything. So I'm gonna try and do it by hand. This is the second time I'm doing this. I'm making a menu. So this is menu number two on the screen right now. First menu went really well. I had like 80 donuts now as well, the same one. So last time I had eight orders, now I have 10 orders. So yeah, the update, this is the second time in a row. In a week, I'm making donuts and it's pretty early. My weekend goes by like that. It's now 9.10, I'm still in the freaking kitchen. I've got the oil ready heating up and I've got a lot of donuts in the oven proving. So these are the donuts right here. The oven is full and I've got one tray here, another tray here and I've got another tray there and as well I needed to make another batch of dough. So in total I made five batches of my donut dough. So the thing is I woke up at five o'clock and that machine did work again. It overheated, so it worked again after half an hour. I made like one dough with hand, which was hell. So a machine really helped. But that machine is not powerful. It's not like strong, and it can't handle a lot of dough. So if I could make two batches at once, that would take so much time. But I, I can't spend like a thousand, two thousand euros on a really proper industrial machine. I, I have a cheap one, like 70 euros. It does a job. I don't, I don't need to do it by hand, but it does take a lot of time, again, even with the machine. So yeah, I'm gonna fry up some donuts and see you at the end. I'm not going to say anything. It's now exactly 3 o'clock and I'm not going to talk about what happened today. It didn't go as planned, guys. It didn't go as planned, but finally, I've got the donuts right here. I don't think I've got all the donuts for all the people that ordered the donuts. I think I, I missed like two, three donuts. I'm not sure, but guys, here we go. The donuts are done. So I've got five flavors this time like last time and it took a while <laughs> so these are the kinder bueno ones so it's white chocolate with milk chocolate kinder bueno cream and kinder bueno on top these two are for a friend he wanted something with kinder bueno these are kinder chocolate sorry so this kinder bueno these are kinder chocolate these are vanilla glazed honey golden cereal donuts a cereal donut again here we go kinder chocolate donuts i have here 
strawberry white chocolate filled with cream and this looks so damn fire this is banana custard filled with a banana glaze cake crumbles on top chocolate and a banana chip and my favorite all time radio lino lada with coconut so it's filled with whipped cream lino lada white chocolate cover with coconut and a coconut wafer guys here we go these are the donuts now i just gotta pack them got everything packed right here so guys today i got in total 10 order i've got three orders of 10 and the remaining all five just one has four because yeah like i said it didn't go as planned so i might throw in some treats just to make up for it so yeah guys got 10 orders right here every everyone has different orders i put names on the boxes so i know where to bring these things so yeah guys i'm freaking stoked even though it didn't turn out how i wanted i will talk about it in mukbang one day just show you all these clips but guys here we go the first freaking orders last time i had eight this time i had 10 orders Woo! freaking sick i'm doing this because i love it i woke up at five o'clock it's now 3 30 and i won't finish until seven o'clock bringing you all these things is <laughs> takes a long time and this is what i want to say I'm not even tired. Yes, my legs are hurting from standing in the kitchen all day, but I'm not even tired. When I work eight hours in a factory, I just can't stand that. I just wait till I get home, but this I could do the whole day long. And I just want to do this so bad, guys. So yeah, if I do a mukbang, I will talk about what happened today and I will say I really, I, I, I almost broke down. I like went outside, left everything how it was, and I wanted to, I want, I just wanted to cry because it didn't go, it, it didn't go that, as planned. But yeah, guys, the first couple orders, the second couple orders are in, and I'm gonna bring them right now, and I might update you now or the next time. 